got it back. Oh! There he goes. He got it. He got it. And last but not least, we have... What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. I wanted to start this video out here at the 4,000 gallon pond to give you guys an update on how Arnold is doing. Arnold is doing much better. As you guys can see, all the fish are doing absolutely amazing. They see the blue bucket, so they know they're about to be fed. And here is Arnold. As you guys can see, there's Arnold right there. His eye is healing a little bit. He's eating and he's doing much, much better. He's working his way out of the corner and back into the middle of the pond with all the big boys. So. Let's go ahead, open this container up, grab a handful of this, and sprinkle it all out and about. Here we go. Watch these guys go to work. Got the koi's going, we got the tarpon eating, everybody's eating. Oh, Arnold, we just missed you, buddy. You just came right up. Watch this. He's gonna come up right now. Here he comes. Here he comes. Boom, look at that. He's back in business, baby. I'm gonna throw a little bit more food in there. We got Rami the Grami that, you know, he likes to stay a little bit far back, but everybody's eating. There's so much color darting around inside here, and it's doing so dang good. Now we're gonna head inside. I already went to the store today, guys. I got a lot of really, really dang good stuff at the store today. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. So let's head inside. Here is the tank that we'll be stocking today. We got our sponges. We got our beautiful designer clown. We have our arrow crab that we caught in our last video. And today we're adding a lot more. We've got a bag. Oh! We had a bag filled with fish, but I literally just lifted it up and the bottom broke. That's how many fish we have today, baby. We're gonna go bag by bag down the line, give you guys a close up in the Critter Keeper. It's gonna be awesome. This tank's gonna look so good. Let's jump into it. We are starting this with a bang. We got another designer clown right here. I'm a huge fan of these ones. They're all white with a little orange and a little black. These things are absolutely beautiful. Let's get them inside this Critter Keeper so you guys can get a good look. Look at the beauty on that guy right there. The white, the black, the orange. These guys are some of my favorite clownfish for a couple of different reasons. I love all white fish and these guys are basically all white with black and orange. These things are absolutely beautiful. He's gonna look so good with this guy in here and who knows, maybe they'll end up being a breeding pair. All right, little guy, make sure you wet your hands, y'all. Don't wanna take that slime coat off him. Go ahead, grab this little dude and add him to the tank. There he goes, he's in. Look at those two little guys, two of the same. They're like twins, guys, they're like twins. I think there's a really, really good chance that these two become a breeding pair. As you guys can see, the bigger one right here is probably gonna end up being the female. The female is usually the bigger one, typically. The female is the dominant one, and it looks like it's gonna be her right there. But these two are looking good. I love this tank so much. The white and orange theme is awesome. But guys, I have something inside this bag that you guys are gonna absolutely love. Love. Now up next we have two emerald crabs. Now these guys I'm not putting inside of the reef tank. These guys are gonna be fed to these bad boys right here. As you guys all know I have these guys in a 55 gallon tank, but things are changing. These guys are getting an upgrade They're gonna be going downstairs into the 125 filled with my freshwater fish And the sad part is, is that to, in order for this to happen we have to get rid of all the freshwater fish downstairs. We're gonna find them a good new home, but you know what? It's not fair to these guys to keep them inside this 55. So I have to make the tough decision and get rid of all those fish. But in the future down the road, when I can get my own place, you guys know I'll be getting a bunch of exotic fish, all albino, all platinum. Just get ready, guys. The rocket is only going up, ladies and gents. So these guys are getting upgrades soon. All right, here we go. Watch Spike absolutely demolish this crab right here. Boom, already gone. The grouper thought he was gonna get some. The Niger Trigger wants some as well. Spike, you guys already know, he eats first. He is the old man inside this aquarium. You gotta respect your elders, all right? You gotta respect your elders. Good part is, is that I got one more. I really want the Trigger Fish to get this one. There he goes, he got it, he got it. He's getting it, or he's trying. Come on, buddy, don't let him escape. You let him escape? Absolutely just took one leg off him and let the guy escape. As you guys can see, he's going up under there. That is one lucky crab, unless Bolt decides to find him and absolutely take them out. But these guys are getting an upgrade, which means this is gonna be an empty 55 gallon saltwater aquarium. So I want you guys to leave a comment down below what you guys wanna see go inside that tank mini predators, another saltwater reef tank, an octopus, a squid, you name it down below and we'll make it happen. Up next going into the tank is a serious clue right here as to what's to come later in this video. This right here is a gorgonia, which they actually filter the water. So these guys are just like the sponge that we have, but this one I decided to go with a red instead of an orange. So 
Let's get this guy in the tank. Now, just like the sponges we have, these guys could not touch air. So all this water is safe to go into my aquarium. Take a look at the two little guys we got down there. Oh, I love those two little guys. I want to get a few more and then this tank is done. Check out how good that thing looks in there. I think the red in the dead center spices this tank up to a whole nother level. These two clowns are seriously just so beautiful. So much orange, so much red, so much white. Everything looks so freaking good. That tank is slowly but surely just becoming my absolute favorite that I own. And we have two more things to add inside of it that are going to take it even to a new level. Starting with this guy right here, a coral banded shrimp. These guys are awesome to have because they'll clean up the pellets that the clownfish don't eat. It's like a cleanup crew, but they actually look really, really cool. Like a candy cane. I love this guy. Let's go ahead, get him into the tank. And goes the little dude right there. Come on, buddy. Go down to the bottom. There he goes. It's a little guy. He's got a lot to clean up in here, especially when I feed these clowns because I want to get them big. So we got the coral banded in here. We have our arrow crab, whichever, wherever he might be. Oh, you guys can see his legs way in the back there. It's so cool watching them eat on the bottom. It's really, really neat. Welcome to the tank, little guy. This tank is really coming together. And last but not least, the best of them all. I'm about to show you guys, but before I do that, I want to mention to you guys to go check out fishguy.shop. With every single item sold, we remove trash from the ocean. So not only are you looking good and you're feeling good, you also are helping such an amazing mission to clean the ocean. Go browse the site. There's so much there and we have new stuff coming soon. The support from you guys on there is just insane. We're helping the marine animals and it feels so good. And last but not least, we have a seahorse, guys. We got a seahorse for the aquarium. This guy is stunning. He is so cool. He's beefy. He looks extremely, extremely healthy. And I got some mice shrimp in this bag to feed him. But this guy is absolutely amazing. That's why I dropped that clue. I said, guys, take a look at this Gorgonia. And that is your clue as to what's to come. And we did it. We got a seahorse. This is the first ever seahorse that I've owned. And I need the best name down below in the comments. This guy is so stinking cool. I mean, that is a literal seahorse. And if you guys want me to try breeding seahorses, you leave a comment down below as well. Actually, you know what? If this video gets 3,000 likes, I will try to breed seahorses. And I think that would be so freaking cool on the channel. This little guy is just floating around. He is so cool. I can't wait to see what he looks like inside the aquarium. So without further ado, let's get him inside. In he goes, you guys. Take a look at him. He's going to use his tail to grab onto sponges and the gonzolia right there. I mean, that's why it's super important to have that in there. They'll wrap around it with their tail. That way they don't have to use their energy all day long to swim around. As you guys can see, he's got his tail around it right now. And he's just waiting for stuff to float by to feed on. And as you guys know, I have the mice shrimp. So we'll be feeding him in an upcoming video. But let's take a look at what we got inside here now. We got two of the clowns. We got the new Gonzolia. We got the coral banded shrimp. We've got our seahorse. An arrow crab way in the back. And this tank is looking so good. I definitely want to get some red sponges to put up along there. Or maybe some yellow or blue. We'll see what the store has to offer. But guys, take a look at this aquarium. It's really coming together. I seriously think it's my favorite tank that I own at the moment, but there's new ones to come. These guys are getting an upgrade and you know we'll be adding more fish with them as well. And now we're gonna have an empty tank. And you know what guys, the content's only getting better. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And click that notification bell so you guys get notified as soon as I upload. Guys, it's the next day and I'm filming this on my iPhone because of how much better the focus is on this camera. I wanted to give you guys an update on the next day of how these guys are doing. Look at that clownfish there. The focus on this camera is so much better. And we have our seahorse right there. As you guys can see though, on the Gonzolia, there's a little bit of white stars coming out of it. And that is it filtering. And as we give it time, this whole thing will be covered in those stars. But take a look at that seahorse right there, you guys. I actually fed him this morning and that's why everybody looks pretty stuffed. And let me tell you guys what, he went to town. I'm going to show you guys in a future video of this guy eating butt. This tank is looking so dang good. Be sure to comment down below what else you guys want to see go inside here. But yeah, I just want to give you guys an up-close look with a really well-focused camera. So, back into the video. That's going to do it for today's video, everybody. I got the shout-outs of the day. Here we go. From the YouTube, shout-out to Faith and Fins. From the Instagram, shout-out to Swag underscore Fishing. And from the Fish Guy Shop, shout out to order number 2304, Aaron. Don't forget, everybody, every single item sold on the Fish Guy Shop removes trash from the ocean. I love you all so much. The support is seriously unreal, and I appreciate it. To the moon and back. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you on that next video. Peace out.